Thanks for clicking on the video guys. Today I'm here to share with you my five top tips when it comes to hammock camping. Let's get into it. First things first, you're going to need one of these to string it up. Tip number one is diagonal lay. Basically, for a more comfortable sleep position, you want to lay diagonally with your head in one end right at the corner and then your feet in the opposing corner. And you want to spread as much of this fabric out as possible. So all of this fabric, if you're sleeping like a banana straight, it's just going to raffle up, buckle up, and you're not going to have a comfortable sleep. Basically, as the... Uh, the cartoons show you it's, it's almost a straight on banana shape but it's really really bad for your back um, it's always best to lie diagonally you lay much flatter you keep much warmer as well because the fabric's not beffling together so it's a it's a more even spread under underneath your back um, of, of the fabric and the same with the under blanket as well to keep you nice and warm so tip number one sleep diagonally tip number two is also on positioning um, and what you want to try and do when you're adjusting your hammock um, pitch, basically, um, you want to have the gradient lower um, in favour of your head end. I know that sounds silly. <clears throat> and you would either think that you want to be completely level or, if anything, head up. Um, what you want to try and do is just have a slight incline towards your head end so that your feet are, are raised up. Um, that way it stops your um, it stops your calves getting sore as well because you can get cramp in your calves especially if all the blood's rushing down to one end so um, either either totally level or a little bit of an incline to your head end I find is, is a bit more comfortable so I know it sounds crazy but it works tip number three use your hammock as a seat make sure that when you are pitching it it's always at the uh, really comfortable height so that you can use it as a seat um, as well as a sleep system um, and then you don't need to bring a chair <laughs> basically it's uh, it's a really comfy seat you can take the bug net 
uh, out of the way as well. <coughs> and just relax, or you can uh, take out the poles as well on this one. This is the DD um, XL front line. It comes with a, a hooped system so that you get loads of headroom and a ridge line. But you can take all this out and then just kick back as a little uh, as a little seat. Tip four: If you're a cold sleeper or you're hammock camping in the winter, um, people think that you know more layers is better. Um, but actually, with with hammock camping, all the wind underneath your hammock, uh, you're actually coldest from underneath you, not from over you. So um, a sleeping bag would be brilliant, but um, what you could use in conjunction with the sleeping bag for you, for yourself, is to um, put on what I like to call the, the hammock nappy. <laughs> Um, so it's a big uh, nappy or diaper for your hammock uh, called an under blanket. Comes in a little compression sack. This one's DD, uh, the DD under blanket uh, from DD Hammocks. Uh, so it's the same same company as I've uh, I've gone with for the uh, for the hammock itself. Really, really easy to install. Um, just clips with carabiners on the underside here, and um, means you get a comfy, warm sleep. This hammock also boasts a little interlayer. Uh, system that you can slide air mattresses into, uh, air mat sleep pads, uh, roll mats and things like that but I much prefer the uh, clipping an under blanket to it because it's it's really really decent synthetic uh, fibres, you get a lot of loft out of it um, and I've never had a cold night with the under blanket so it's um, it's well worth investing. The uh, It's worth mentioning as well that the under blanket has a cinch cord as well so you can trap, uh, trap air into it as well um, gives you a much better loft and you can actually keep a layer of air between you and the under blanket which uh, which really helps with the thermal comfort so you can cinch it all nice and tight and keep that warm air um, in and around your body. And lastly tip number five is completely luxury and optional and probably a bit overkill but <clears throat> bug net ridge line lantern pockets all the comforts of a tent but in a hammock what more do you want <laughs> oh and bonus tip little um glow in the dark zips Little glow in the dark power cord on your zips means it's a lot longer to reach. So, in the middle of the night, if you need to get up for a wee, you just grab that, saves you bending all the way down and grabbing that end. You can have them as long as you want, and they glow in the dark then. And there's one on each side. If you did enjoy the video, guys, give it a thumbs up, really appreciate it, it really helps support the channel. Consider subscribing as well if you're new to the channel and you're into bushcraft and wild camping. And let me know in the comments as well if you've got any hammock tips or indeed if you've learned something from this video, then hit me up in the comments as well and just tell me which of these tips are you going to use yourself um, out hammock camping. So yeah, that's the end of the video guys. I'll see you on the next one. Yo. Yo. Entering the planet, we were born in 1990s Censoring the damage through the years quite precisely Peppering the cabbage every day with new rhyme schemes Venturing the stranded and tired the unlikely